Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's time to do a list that has been requested several times about a state that's rarely ever talked about, North Dakota. I get requests about this state four or five times a week easy, which I always thought was kind of odd. That was until I looked at my channel analytics and noticed I get a strange amount of views from North Dakota. Strange in the sense that there's really not a lot of people in North Dakota, but it seems like a whole bunch of them watch my channel. So I did some research, and this is what I came up with. So here's my top 10 reasons not to move to North Dakota. Number 10, work commute. Take a look at this. This could be your work commute if you live in North Dakota. Number nine, your weekend commute. Yeah, this could be your weekend commute in North Dakota. Number eight, going to the store. Yeah, that looks like fun, doesn't it? Number seven, commuter trains. These things are dangerous and apparently sneak up on you. Look at that. Number six, the most bars. That's right, North Dakota has the most bars per capita than any other state in the country. They have one bar for every 1,600 residents. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. Now, some people might say, so what, they have a bunch of bars. Well, it also brings up a couple other things. They also come in number three as the biggest binge drinking state. They're also in the top five for drunk driving arrests. And more than half the vehicle deaths in North Dakota are alcohol related. Number five, lawn care. Yep, take a look at that. Mowing your lawn sucks most of the year in North Dakota. Number four, bad for singles. That's right, North Dakota is one of the worst states to be single in. Different studies have shown different things, but usually they're neither one, two, or three, as in the worst states to be single. Dating apps don't help either. The population is so spread out, you may have a two-hour drive ahead of you for a Tinder hookup. Number three, your neighbors. Your neighbors in North Dakota could quite possibly be livestock. Nobody likes that. They attract flies, predators, and lonely Greek men. Number two, your other neighbors. Your other neighbors could quite possibly be wildlife. That's right, wildlife. And wildlife usually attracts things like predators, members of PETA, and lonely single men that still subscribe to Field and Stream magazine. And number one, it's boring. Yeah, that's right. Most people consider North Dakota one of the most boring states in the Union. That's probably why they drink so much. It's just boring. But here's the thing. That's the beauty of North Dakota. A lot of people that are from, let's say, Los Angeles, New York, Miami, Atlanta, Detroit, Chicago, wherever, if you move there, you would be bored to death because you're used to a different type of life. But there's a lot of people in this world that prefer places just as boring as North Dakota. They look at it like a nice, quiet life, and a lot of people like it. I have a friend that I grew up with in LA, known each other since we were in kindergarten. This man surfed his whole life, worked at the refineries down in Southern California, and then about 20, 25 years ago, he decided he was moving his family to North Dakota. They bought some land, he works on oil out there in North Dakota, and he wouldn't change it for the world. He says it's the most amazing place to raise a family. So, I mean, that's the worst to some people, but to some people, that's the biggest draw to this state. Obviously, this whole list was kind of a joke because there's really not much that goes on in North Dakota that I could talk about. I'm sure if I delve deeper and people from North Dakota are going to argue that point with me, but yeah, it, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. Don't forget to give me a like, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget about my new channel that will be launching on Monday or Tuesday. The first video on it, I'll leave a link below. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.